Hey guys, it's Kristen. Today I'm here with Matt at Other Side Board Sports. Last time we showed you a really awesome tropical dish. Matt here is gonna show us some rum cocktails that pair perfectly with it. What we're gonna do today is take a traditional twist off of a couple you know, really well-known cocktails to give it more of that tropical flair and a little bit more of a unique palate and flavor to it. So this guy right here in the middle to start off is what we're gonna call Key West Legal Rum. What we're gonna do with this is do a take on Papa Hemingway's traditional daiquiri. So the keys to a balanced cocktail are two, one, one. So you need two parts hard, one part sour, one part sweet. Okay. It's all about balance. Traditionally, you would want to be serving this in a daiquiri glass, which is going to kind of double as more of a martini glass, but I can promise you that the uh, masculine man that Papa Hemingway was, he would have not wanted his glass to have a stem. So we're going to use what would be just a traditional low ball glass for a straight up cocktail or like an old fashioned or something like that. Instead of using a full fledged simple syrup based off of uh, sugar, so we're going to use Florida Keys raw honey. And we're only going to do a dash of that. We're going to mix everything first in this. Do you want to do the honors of the pouring here? Sure. All right, so okay. two in there. It's okay if you go a little over, I'm sure you would have appreciated it. <laughs> All right, one. The key lime is going to be obviously the tropical version of the, the lime. When you choose limes, it's actually a crucial part of your cocktail. Um, focusing on the skin of your citrus, especially with the lime, you want something that's less porous with a really smooth, kind of shinier outer layer. Okay. Um, so for this, go ahead, hold up okay. that. We're just going to squeeze these in. The great story of this is Hemingway was always down at his farm just outside of Havana. He had just gotten his uh, Pulitzer Prize for the Old Man in the Sea, and he was certainly known for the aggressiveness and abilities of his liver. In his later days, <laughs> it was known that in a single sitting, Hemingway could take down 16 of these what? daiquiris. No. And he pretty much brought the fame and popularity to this cocktail. And we've got our dash of honey that we're going to use just as a touch instead of a simple. And just to get that honey in there. That's all stirred up. And give it a very vigorous shake. So then you give it a little crack, being real careful not to send all the spirits flying. And little strainer right on the rocks as is we got a little bit of love from our honey and lime and nice. there it is Papa Hemingway oh yeah a Hemingway daiquiri that's really good Salud, Papa. Thanks so much for watching this episode and be sure and click that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of the latest and greatest beach news and recipes and whatever else. So we'll see you next time. Cheers.